battle now over the look at a Downey sports bar. Ojos Locos, servers wear uniforms some might say are revealing. The city has fined the restaurant thousands of dollars for violating its dress code. But as KCAL reporter Jeff Nguyen shows us, Ojos Locos is pushing back. After being called out for its taste in uniform, Ojos Locos in Downey has gone on the offensive. That's because City Hall hit the sports bar with more than $4,000 in fines recently. Mayor Mario Trujillo says the restaurant violates a city ordinance that's been in place since 2022. Under the dress code, food handlers are not allowed to bear their midriff, any portion of their chest three inches below their collarbone, and any part of their leg less than three inches below the buttocks male or female it's just not necessary um to wear that type of uniform. The restaurant chain based out of Texas sent us a sketch of their uniform and examples of their servers working at the Downey restaurant. T-shirts often cut into tank tops paired with a short skirt and spandex shorts underneath. The company says our standard uniform of skorts and T-shirts are legal and appropriate for our restaurant's theme and we look forward to winning our appeal and being reimbursed for the unwarranted fines levied. We have them on record saying that they are agreed to abide by the ordinance. The cantina says its uniform is similar to what's worn at other sports bars and no more revealing than typical cheerleader uniforms. And I see some women now walk around brawless and I don't see the problem here. They're covered. They're not walking around without bras. The bar sits across the street from a Baptist church where we met Gary Jones and Marilyn Johnson after Bible study. <gasps> That's inappropriate. Johnson says she previously attended another church in which the congregation took exception to a nearby bar. If we pray for a bar across the street to shut down within six months, it's shut down. I don't see the problem and if they don't like it and people don't want to be in, I mean, don't come to the place. So far, neither side is suing the other. Ojos Locos had to pay the fines in order to appeal. That process will take place through City Hall, which says the uniforms here will need to meet the dress code. In Downey, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.